How you doing? So this is the best hack for Angela. And people have been asking me about what hacks I'm using. And these are the best hack for Angela. And this is what makes her the best champion in incursion. And this really like you cannot find better hacks for Angela. And really uh, with this hack, there's nothing she can really do not solo in the MCOC when it comes to incursion. You can definitely argue um, having strategic movement, you know, with keep it going is a better hack to have. You know, if you're more skilled, if you know how to dex really well, but if you're not, then strategic movements may not be so well for you. So I think the only time I think having strategic movement as well as having, what do you call that? Keep it going is better than the hacks I'm about to show you is against Rintra. I think Rintra is just not a good matchup for Angela. But besides that, she can pretty much solo every fight except Rintra. You know, with the right hex, Angela can solo Rintra, but it's just not a good matchup for her. It's going to be a really tough fight. So this is the, the ultimate hack you want with Angela. I got to say, this was not easy to get. It was just really bad RNG because it took me like half a day to get these um, exact four rare hacks with Angela. It was not. And I think I end up re-rolling when it comes to like sec, uh, zone 8. So I spent units as well as ha half a day to get this. So yeah, definitely was terrible RNG on my part. But if you do get this hacks, it's well worth it. I can tell you. This is without a doubt the best hacks you can have with Angela. So let's see what they are. So one is buff cornucopia. The other one is defensive cascade. The third one is tide of combat. And fourth, keep it going. So why is this so good for Angela? So start with buff cornucopia. So buff cornucopia, why it's so good for Angela is she can gain prowess from um, buff cornucopia. Not only that, she can gain a regen buff regen buff doesn't really matter for her once you get really far in incursions but you know it's nice to have she's always going to be at full health which can be really helpful in some nodes which i'm going to show you in a little bit i think oh actually mm, there is there uh, well, you can see in the gameplay that I'm about to show you, she's pretty much full health almost every fight because of buff cornucopia. Like I mentioned, if you're a better, better skill player, also when you go really far incursion, you know, regen from buff cornucopia is not really that much going to like make a difference, but it's nice to have, especially if you're a terrible player. So, buff cornucopia, when she, Angela throws a special attack, she gains... Uh, Every buff that she has, she inflicts an armor break on the opponent. So why is that so powerful? And in defensive cascade as well, why it's so good is is also because uh, you can actually now you can stun the opponent through block, which is so powerful. So with this hacks, you can just pretty much the fight starts and it's then it's over just like that. I just want to say. First, I you know, really want to be emphasize this. You know, there's a video I already have on YouTube that I did 175 million with a five star Angela. Okay, you're not going to see that damage unless you're gonna go past zone 25 in incursion, okay? Or you're using a seven star rank three Angela. The good thing about Angela is when it comes to her damage, she doesn't need her signature ability. Her signature ability is just makes her really like really the best champion for incursion. I think her signature ability is arguably better than Hercules. You know, that's definitely arguable because she pretty much like immune to damage, damage over time debuff. You know, this will vary on your how many buffs she has as well as how high a sick Angela is. But she have her sick 200, you put in the Odin free fight, she's pretty much going to be immune to damaging debuff over time, which is really powerful because she can handle so many nodes in the game. You can handle uh, Biohazard, 
cow drops, any champion that inflict damage over time. She's just so powerful when it comes to that ability. She's also, I wouldn't say nullify immune completely, but she's like nullify immune, uh, has kind of like a semi nullify immunity. Like she's going to be a great counter for like, what else? Symbiote Supreme, I believe. What else? Any node that has nullify ability. And really, the thing about Angela makes her so good in incursion is the only thing that affects nullify is really just in the beginning of the fight okay with these hacks you know just she can beat opponents so fast that none of the nodes in the game really matters man i haven't posted a video yet but i i have like many fights with angela that i didn't even bother looking at the nodes because it doesn't even matter you know because she can beat opponents so fast that the notes doesn't matter. Because a lot of notes, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, depends on time or the opponent throwing special attack. With Angela being able to beat opponents so fast that it doesn't even matter with these hacks. So um, I'm going to show you guys. And I actually have more videos to show you guys. But I know a lot of people are just probably tired of watching Angela gameplay when it comes to incursion. So I'm going to take some time off uh, with the Angela videos when it comes to incursion. I'm pretty much just like only halfway. But I know people have been asking me about what my hacks are. So these are the hacks for Angela. So let's see. So, okay. So now defensive cascade. And why is it so powerful? So let me just show you why defense can escape title combat as well as keep it going why they're so powerful combined with uh, with buff cornucopia so we'll see we'll just show you guys so you can better understand of some gameplay oh well, something else to note i'm going to show you the common hacks these are close to being perfect when it comes to common hack with buff cornucopia you want to have plus four percent attack rating for each buff on the attacker that's going to be helpful basic attack also i think is helpful to gain more armor up buffs and the better chance to stun opponent when it comes to defensive cascade it also increases your basic attack and a lot of angela's damage just mostly comes from basic attack so so let's go ahead let's look down come on go down eight percent attack rating for each buff on with attacker that's really good you know especially with having buff corn fear buff for gain 30% ability accuracy and 40% duration that is so good as well 4% attack rating for each debuff on the opponent because she applies a lot of debuffs on the opponent that's really good 1000 critical rating I don't know if that's really necessary to have you know because she has a high crit rate especially when you go really far incursion because of Odin's synergy so really a lot of this multi multiply her damage because of obviously Odin synergy and you probably know that already prowess buff points to gain 80 percent potency that's um that's really strong as well during special attack critical rating is multiplied by three i don't know about how that's helpful for angela because she does have a high crit rate already but it's nice to have because you're pretty much like always going to have crit on your special attack and when her, her, her special attack crits oh my goodness it does so much damage um, even it doesn't create and some of them you will see it will not create I think just because just so much damage from the rare hacks so we're gonna see some gameplay so this is like against human torch there's power play limited immunity so the only thing really you have to worry about is power play so after 12 seconds who has the least amount of power you're gonna get fate seal so does that matter in this gameplay and you'll see why these hacks are so powerful for angela and why she's the best champion for incursion because she pretty much ignores the time so shout out to herald uh, right there for her abilities she can look at this like power play didn't even exist keep in mind 13 seconds she beat human torch in 13 seconds with limit with immunity for the first 10 seconds so the power play didn't even matter that is just crazy how much damage and the farther she goes in incursion she just gets stronger and stronger and you'll see the gameplay so let's take a look at this 
So Titania, Titania, she's really a could be a really tough defender. So as you can see here, feature of what do you call that? What is that called? Feature of indestructible. Okay, so what happens is when you reach two bars of power, the defender, which is Titania, will gain um indestructible buff. So it doesn't even matter because Angela doesn't rely um on the special too, like some champions in the game. You know, Hercules <coughs> excuse me. Um so so that's what makes her the best champion incursion because she doesn't need actually she doesn't with these hacks she doesn't need to throw a special attack so in this case i'm just going to be using a special attack one and you can see how quickly this 1.9 million health titania goes down using a five star by the way and she's could be a really tough defender i think one of the tough defenders in the game and let's see how a five star angela makes cakewalk she also has a protection by the way and i don't think does it come off i think I'm not even sure. As you could see, <laughs> she had the protection the whole time. <laughs> and then still did what? 1.1. How much damage? 1.5 million in 10 seconds? <laughs> that is just so crazy. Okay. So, why is that? Let's see the next one. As you can see here, she is heal block. Uh, what is that? Chum in the water? Yeah, that's usually a really tough note for some players, some champions. But for Angela, you know, chum in the water, she's heal block. Look at how, what percent, 5%. Okay, she's heal block and she has damage mastery on. Look how fast she beats this uh, opponent. So here I was busy, so I had to pause the game. As you can see there, now keep playing. She has a 3% health, 1.2 million damage, not bad. 20 second fight look at that two percent so as you could see even with heal block and running liquid courage you know with five percent health it didn't matter because of time time is very important you know here we go now this is really important so polka dot power okay so i'm not going to be gaining any power unless i apply a damage over time debuff on the opponent i believe what is that Damaging debuff, yeah, so I don't have that. And let's see how fast it takes them to take down 2.7 million health Punisher. Keep in mind, I know you already see it. This is a 5-star. She doesn't rely on power so to do damage or special attack. And you're going to see in this gameplay how long it takes down this Punisher. So here, as you can see, look at this. Oh, I'm going to pause it. Look, see, what was I talking about? Perfect. Like, she doesn't need to throw a special attack. She can still see here. Also, I have a sting debuff on me. So, if I throw a special attack, that's going to pretty much instant K on me. But I do have Heimdall. So, that's the good thing about two having Heimdall. You can throw a special attack. Heimdall is going to save you. And she's, even though opponent can inflict a damage over time on you, Angela is pretty much immune to damage over time debuff with her signature ability so it doesn't even matter so as you can see here let's see i have how many three furies so here let me show you look at that i got two only so only two what do you call that two stun effects on the opponent okay so but every time that stun effect um expire there's a 50% chance that I'm going, going to gain a Fury buff. If I, since I have a Relic on, I, every, there's a 50% chance I'm getting two Fury buffs. So basically, if you gain like 10 stun on the opponent, on average, you're going to get 10 Fury buffs. And you're going to see later on why that's so powerful. And then look at that, 1 million damage. How long did that take? 10 seconds over what 2.7 million health 10 seconds not bad right look at this <laughs> unstoppable clauses so here is very few times you see i'm very low health um 
actually there's a video of me I haven't posted yet that that I I soloed like five straight fights with at one percent health, you know, with Harold Angela. So here, what is that? Four point something million health with class disadvantage. Look at this. This is thanks to buff corn. I don't remember how many I I triggered at the time. I think five. So the reason why she can regen so much is because of because of uh, Odin synergy. It's like amplifies so much. That that's why she can regen so much when you trigger a regen buff. So look at that, 4.1 million health. What is that? 21 seconds with class disadvantage. <laughs> what else? Let's see. Captain America. Why did I put this? Um, I guess just to show you. Why did I post this? I don't remember. Oh well, yeah, I just want to show you how fast she can take down an opponent. Uh, I don't remember her, this guy's health, so we can just take a look at it. Is that 24 million damage? What was that? 24 million in 7 seconds. She took down nearly 4 million health in 7 seconds, dude. 4 million health in 7 seconds. That is just crazy. <laughs> that is crazy, you know. With a, I don't know, like I said it before, this is a 5 star by the way, with a 3 star Thor Relic, and what, 5 star Odin, yeah, that is crazy, with these hacks, it's just crazy, so let me just show you why it's so powerful, oh yeah, because of buff corn, that's what it is, with buff corn, there's a chance that you can gain, uh, let me see, it's gonna show, does it show you there, yeah, see I gain a power, like a power gain buff, and boom, special 2 does so much damage, it's crazy. I probably got a few. Uh, I didn't see it. Maybe I got a prowess buff too. It's just crazy. Here. This is crazy right here. So power shield node. Like. Um, imagine there was polka dot power. And power shield node. That would be so crazy. I mean. Angela would not be able to do damage. Right. And that's what you think. So. What I actually didn't realize this. But. When it comes to the relic it can um it can do damage with um a power shield node and it probably amplifies the damage okay look at that that was a three star <laughs> that was that was three star thor relic did over four million damage okay i think obviously because of partial did it amplify the damage but look at that she doesn't need to throw a special attack even at power shield node can you believe that that is crazy even without having damage over time debuff on the opponent that is just crazy okay so this one why did i show this oh yeah stun immunity i actually i mean haven't i haven't posted this video yet so you're getting first sight to see this i might post it again just a short clip of it just this video itself but look at this. What if you're against stun immunity? Okay. This pretty much takes away your defense cascade and kind of uh, limits her damage a little bit. But she has so much damage. Look at this. With class disadvantage too. Okay. Stun immunity. So defense cascade doesn't matter. And I got to admit, for me, I played really well at least. Heimdall to the rescue because I don't know how to play. And look at this right here. Thanks to Harold right there, be able to hit on the block. There you go. Look at that. What a great gameplay right there. Booyah. 13 million damage. That's without, that's a stun immunity node. And she handled it. 29 seconds. Three, almost 3.7 million health. We class disadvantage. It is just crazy. Okay, now look at this one. Like I already said earlier, this one, look at this one. This, only two nodes, but look. All right. Feet of indestructible special face seal lockdown. Okay. These are one of the toughest fights. Uh, one of the toughest nodes in the game. Okay. Especially for some champions that relies on special two to do serious damage. 
this is going to be a really tough fight for some champions in the game. Hercules! <coughs> Excuse me. But, yeah, look how easy Angela ha handled this fight. 4.2 million health right here. I do have class advantage. Keep that in mind. Let's see how well Angela handles this fight. Okay. As you can see, if you slow it down, every time... Okay, 13. You see that? It's going to expire soon. Now look, I got 28. And they're going to expire. As you can see there, 25 fury buffs. Because it depends on how many... Every time a damaging debuff expires on the opponent with title combat, there's a 50% chance I'm going to gain 2 fury buffs. And I did get lucky here too. I got, I triggered 8 prowess. So this is why you're going to see this damage right here. What pow? Did you see that? 175 million. You know the funny thing is, I was just watching um, a stream from Nagasi doing like 159 million, 159 million, 159 thousand damage with Hulkling with a 6 star rank 5, unascended, but a 6 star rank 5, okay? Like, this is basically a thousand times, actually more than a thousand times, more damage using a 5 star. Okay, yes, I am ascended. So when you think about it, if his Hulkling was ascended, it would probably done, you know, 175,000. You can say whatever, you know, or maybe a little bit more than that. So, but it's essentially a thousand times more than Hulkling can did an incursion, which is insane, by the way. <laughs> it's just, like I want to say again, this is not going to happen if we're not going to pass zone 25. An incursion, as you can see by the opponent's PI, 1 million, over a million, because I went past zone 25. Just to let you know that, unless you're using a 7 star rank 3 Angela. So let's look at this one. As you can see here, what is that? Hmm. I don't think there were anything known, but look hard on this note but with 5.2 million health let's see how long it takes Angela to beat okay I'm gonna show you that she doesn't look at this shout out to Heimdall as well look at that when she triggers a regen it's pretty much back to 100% health okay so I was, I was gonna say she doesn't really rely on special attack but this one it does help her on this uh, to showcase this damage right here but let's just see how much damage she can do with a medium attack. There you go. 93 million damage with a medium attack. Okay. Medium attack. 93 million. That is just crazy, dude. And that's all because of the hacks I have. As well as went really far on incursion. That's what Odin does to help her damage. So I think I already showed you. These are my hacks. When it comes to, let me show you again, Popcorn Clovia, Defense Cascade, Tire Combat, and Keep It Going. So having those hacks, you're going to just pretty much, it's like, there's really not much you, you can't solo in Incursion. You know, I'm using a 5-star. I'm beating opponents with a million help pools easily. So, a million, I'm not a million help pools, a million PIs. So think about that. That is just crazy. Okay, thank you.